right so here we are inside Maya and uh, let's uh, do what we normally do in Maya we set the project first so this one is called HD Blue Bank project and within there there are scenes right and this is the one that I saved from um, uh, Synthize so here is the scene I don't want to save and there it is you know you see that now you have camera one and you can see the grid line that we had put exactly where zero 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 would be okay so uh, here we are so now the advantage of the track is that when you go through this shot and this is the one that we had talked about this is where you have the electrical outlet right for whatever reason if you wanted to block this with a box right so all you do here is create a box uh, let me shade it so here's the box and let's expand it so we can see it uh, flatten it so we can put it on the wall right and then I'm going to snap it to this point here so V and then wiggle my mouse alright so here is the um, uh, then we can probably put a little bit of you know if we need to I don't think we do but to align with the uh, with the wall but anyway so here is basically you know you got the uh, the plate here that is attached to the um, to the point over there so now when, whenever you move this camera that point is going with it and the uh, the plate is going with it so there you go so you got first object created in th inside of this room right so because this is two and a half D when we go over to perspective view and see where is our camera right with respect to all the points you can see that here is our camera and, and these are the points and they are still in the same arch form that we left in um, inside of uh, synthize right there is no 2d uh, 3d solution here but that's okay you know we have this space that's the space I was referring to that we can use I'm gonna close this scene and open the one that's a working scene uh, and walk through that uh, let's see that one would be this don't save right so this scene here uh, let me block this character here or uh, hide it so we don't see uh, skeleton is okay we can live with that and go to the master layer where all the objects are created so now let's go to the perspective view first right and what you have here is the recreation of that room where I wanted this character to walk right so now you can see that the character is walking this is a simple animation walk cycle you know done in Maya uh, he comes steps up and then starts walking right he poses here for for a second or so he's turning his head you can see here uh, this bone here is for the head you can see that he's looking around and he walks and then looks at the pictures and and all those things we'll see you know how it uh, how it looks but anyway so the idea of uh, synthize workflow was to create this space which when you see it through the camera you can see that this is exactly the way the other shot was and uh, yeah he walks through the room and, and there is a representation of the room but that's now in 3d space rather than in a 2D film plate, you know, which was the uh, HV20 camera flow, right? So now, if you select the camera and go and select the image plane, which is none right now, to RGB, and go to the wireframe mode, you can see that all the objects are blocked. You know, all the necessary objects are blocked. Uh, I mean there are a lot of things here that I haven't bothered blocking because I was not going to do anything there but main things this is the pillar here there is a speaker on top of it there's a picture frame here that all the picture frames this is Wii uh, this is uh, console the game console these are more pictures the TV itself and as you go further you know you have the door here and on door there are door knobs there's going to be some light hitting on the top of them and I wanted to have world position pass for the door knobs also and I'll show you, you know what that uh, would look like so um, <clears throat> yeah the sofa here you know in the window and everything we just shade it again so you can see there is uh, you know, this is the outside backyard this is the um, the room that is outside of this room 
here is the uh, screen and here is the door right and the character is walking in and you see there is a light created here the purpose of that light was to um, when when the character walks by let's go to perspective view and, and I can show you what I mean when the character walks by that you know then the light is actually hitting on the character and that's actually draw the relighting requirement in fusion itself because the character was lit as if he is coming into a dark room with sharp lights right so uh, then we had to match that for the room uh, most of the times you would see that the uh, CG lights are matched to the real light but in this case it's a reverse process and there is another light here that's doing the same thing they're both spotlights when you render you know you see that specularity and all that happening here now let's quickly look at the uh, the rendering process here so when you open the render global it is mental ray and into the pass I have world position pass here right and uh, in the render layer I have put all sorts of layers you know one for the character himself one for the world position pass that includes the character, the shadow, the reflection. But in, in the world position,